Hello, it's Paul, and we're going to do another episode of Paul Plays Shenzhen IO. And this one, we're going to be doing the puzzle drinking game scorekeeper. So let's have a look. Right. So what we have here is a little mini drinking game where we have a display and it's connected. It says here display is an X bus output connected to a numerical display. Point and file are simple inputs connect the buttons. The counter should keep track of a count starting at zero and constantly update display with the current value. When point transitions from low to high, count should be incremented. When foul transitions from low to high, count should be decremented. And this is Xbus. So what we are gonna do is have a look at say one of these. So this is the small mini computer and we'll connect P0 to that and we'll connect the Xbus to that. So what I'd like it to do initially, I think, is to just, when we get a point, just add one, but forget about the fouls for the time being. So what we've got to do is detect this edge here, the going from zero to one. Whilst it stays one, if they hold the button down, so I mean, we can see some button presses here and here, there are two long and three long, but that doesn't count. It's only the going up is what we want to count. So in this device, we have an accumulator. So let us pretend, for instance, that the accumulator is storing what it was the last cycle. So the state of the point button P0 at the last. So to see if it's changed, what we can do is test if equal p0 and accumulator and then we can grab the contents of that button so move p0 to accumulator so now we have the current state is in the accumulator and it's obviously in p0 as well but also in our flag that's kind of hidden in the background our true false did the last test uh, equate to true or false, we have whether they're the same. So, if they haven't, so the only, if they haven't changed, if they haven't changed, what do we want to do? We want to say move move one to X one, say. Okay, so now I just think about this a little bit a little bit more. Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe what we want to do is if they TEQ test of equal. So there the plus will be if they are equal, the minus will be if they're not equal. So I put a minus on this line here. So this means that in this current cycle, P0 and the accumulator are not equal. So what I could do then is test of equal Accumulator and 100. Or, so now when we get to this line here, let's have a plus and let's have a minus. We've just got to think about the way that the that the uh, true and false flag gets set here to make sure it works. Let me just think about this one quick second. Right, so if we're here, this line only got run if the two of them were different. So we've got a minus set. 
So if they're the same, the plus, we want it to move zero to X one. So in effect, we actually don't want to do that. We want to test if it's now zero. Move one, X one. We always want to sleep for one. Right, so that looks very confusing. And it's to do with how these plus and minuses work. So what I want to do here is you can get to this. We want to send a zero out along here in two cases. One if the two things are the same, so either you're holding the button on or it's remained off. And we also, but we only want to send the one if they're changed, i.e. this test was not equal. And this test failed as well, i.e. the change wasn't to zero, therefore the change must have been to 100. So if I run this, we should see a one flick out here just every time that we get a point here. It's obviously not, a, it's not counting it yet. So what I'd like to do is so now what I'd like to do is collect this output, copy this, copy this down here. That's the next thing I'm going to do. So let's just reset this. Put a second one of these on. Connect P0 to it. Copy and paste this code. Control C, Control V. Pin is not connected. Now I need to put some device in here. So it's got to have, this device here only has two X buses, but this, whatever sits here, will need to have three. So I'm going to use that. So if you look at this, what we're doing is every, every actual cycle of this system, we're sending out either a zero or a one from each of these to X zero here. So what I need to do is let's say here, the accumulator starts off at zero. Let's say that's got the current score. So I want to add X one, subtract, because like this sends a one only on the pulse. So if every time I get a one from here, I add it. And every time I get a one from here, I subtract it. Or I can send a minus one and add it if this is six or one minus seven of the other, as they say, subtract. Now I want to add X zero, don't I? And I want to subtract X one. I want to move accumulator to X three and sleep for one. How does that look? Pretty good. Getting all, we get no reds here at the moment. Okay, so not a, not a great solution. I seem to have invented the new highest lines of code. Very good. More is better, obviously. Right, continue editing. Now, one thing I did notice is we do have this. Let me just copy this. Control C, get rid of this. So what this is, is this is one of these cheapo little ones, but it has four of these X's. So no need to use the path one. So add, add, and it's going out on X2 this time. That's the only difference. So let's just make sure that works just as well. Knock the speed up here, get it done quicker. All 
Right, so that looks like it. That's a simplish solution to this. I'm sure that we could probably um, rewrite the all this stuff in a much better better way. But again, I don't think I don't think now is the time for optimizing these. This is just a quick look look at the game, go through and, and solve them as puzzles. So I'm happy with that. So there we are. Use this new, or not the new, the MC400X, which is one of, which has this on. And two of these guys using the Xbus. It all looks pretty good and the screen. So that was, I believe that was, um, let me get back. Drinking Game Scorekeeper. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video. And that's all for now. So thanks again. Bye now.